In this module, we'll be looking at advanced calendar customization. And here, we'll be discussing how we can create the user-defined calendars, or you can say the customized calendars, and how we can configure working days, and also how we can set the non-working days and holidays. And also, we'll be looking into the configuration of working hours of a particular day or number of days. And also, we'll look how we can configure half day working or maybe a typical advanced scenario where you need to assign a particular number of hours to a particular day or days that also will be looking inside. Let us deep dive into Primavera and understand this particular concept. In this module, we'll be discussing how you can define or customize your calendar. And this is one of the very important concept which we'll be discussing in this season and how to uh, create or uh, you can uh, define the standard customized work calendar for your projects and that could be uh, maybe three four five calendars and in the detail level maybe you need to assign your lunch hour you may be define your holidays you may be defined for a particular activity different working hours how you can do that let us deep dive into that so for configuring your calendar what you can do is you can go to your enterprise menu and here you can find something called calendars and once you click that by default you will see this particular screen and this particular exercise file you will be getting from your earlier exercise file and that same if you have opened no need to worry if you have not opened then you can import and get it but here i'll be showing you how we can introduce a six hour working culture per week to a particular activity that is E and C and how to customize and define that. So for defining this, you need to use this particular option where you can add and create that. But before understanding that, let us look at this global resources and project, these options, what are those? And this global options and what are the calendars you have, so anyone can access across your project and this is available for anyone that is global and these resources are very typical where you can only assign these two resources and these are the available uh, out-of-box solutions and that will look in brief in our coming lectures and in this particular project we'll be looking at this project so whatever we'll be defining in this project will be saved under this and how to do that that i'll be showing and this is one of the important part let us come to this global and we'll add our first calendar and we'll define that so if you go to this ad you may be wondering it is giving a dialog box where it is a little bit confusing it is showing something select a calendar to copy from what is the meaning of that is very simple that the existing calendar or the format which matches is the type which you will be creating can be referred so let us say i am interested to create six hours the six days uh, by 12 hours work week calendar and once you create that that can be referred so let us say we'll be assigning to this e and d or any of the activities to typical calendar where we'll be working 10 hours because we don't have anything uh, called uh, 10 hours this is similar to that that you can select also but i'm just uh, selecting anyone because anyway you have to type it so you can refer the existing one so the calendar will be pretty similar so let us say this i'll be 